This week on Premier Interschools, we have two massive contests. In Stellenbosch, a famous boys' school pits its skills against a legendary Free State institution. And on the netball courts next door, a legendary girls' school matches skills with one of the top teams from Bloemfontein. This Saturday, it's Paul Roos versus Great College. And it's Blumhoff versus Oranje Macy's in Premier Interschools, live on Supersport. Premier Interschools rugby, feast your eyes on it. All of the schools ready to sing to one another, the players back to the fans. Wow. Oh, yes. Look at that. Bully is way over. The speedster. Stuck it down for the line. It's another try. Oh, he's done brilliantly. And away he goes. Oh, that's the stuff. Schoolboy rugby, ladies and gentlemen. A huge day in World Schools Rugby. This week on Premier Interschools, we have an epic rugby encounter between Paul Roos and Grey College. But right now, it's netball. Wur Macy School Blumhoff, founded in 1875, is the oldest Afrikaans medium girls' school in the country and emphasizes a values-based education that comes from a balanced combination of academics, sport and cultural activities. It was my initiative to start the inter-schools with Urania as I saw for Ruiz already had the inter-schools with Grey. And the idea was just to have fun. And <laughs> you know, it became one of the two most popular inter-schools events on our calendar. Over the last 10 games, the Blumhoff first team has shown a strong performance, winning eight and losing just two matches, one of which was in the previous matchup with Oranya. Some of my metrics in the team, it would be the last game. And um, yeah, I just actually in that game would want them to enjoy it as much as they can, but also play, you know, the best and give it their all because it could be their last game and some of them don't play after school, so it could be their last game that they ever play. Onze allemaal is wel opgewonden voor de wedstrijd, maar is hij los dit jaar. En ons was heel jaar voor hem. En ons kan vriendschappen wat ons over vijf jaar gemaakt het daar niet en weer met alle ook speel. Alles is wel competerend en is altijd een fysische wedstrijd. Maar ik denk ons is gereed voor alle. Dit is nou ons losse wedstrijd ons gaan ons beste doen. Ik denk dit gaan baie lekker wees. Dit is altijd het lekker vergeest en alles. En die hele school neem ook deel. So dit is lekker voor die losse jaar en lekker the World Secondaire Macy School Oranya was founded in 1907. Due to the support of Queen Wilhelmina in Holland, the school was named Oranya to honour the Royal House of Orange in the Netherlands. Um, Free State is a very small province, so it's really necessary for us to play top schools in other provinces. And Blumhoff is also one of the top 10 schools in Nepal, so um, by playing them, it can help us to keep our position on the SA Netball ranking list. Oranje Macy's has won nine of the last ten matches and drew with Help Makar. They come into this game as the favourites, ranked as the number one netball team in the country and reigning as the 2022 schools champion. Yes, to play Blumov on their home turf is always a big and tough competition. So our preparation will be focusing on basic skills. I think that is our biggest asset the whole year. Yes! in the top 10 under the rang list, and all of us have one time and we know that they will come for us. And our baby is up and I think Blumhoff is for all of us, one of the best inters. And that will also be our last netball fight for us with Tix now in the first span. Um, Travelling to Blumhoff and facing them on their home ground is a very exciting thought. Um, they are fierce competitors, so um, we are looking forward to a great match. The wedstrijd in Blumhoff, I am very excited to be here. I am going to be a very good game. And as you win there, it forms a very big prank and a very big role when it's not a win. That's Blumhoff vs Oranje, live on Supersport this Saturday. While the girls are playing netball in Stellenbosch, next door on the famous Marcotta field, Paul Rus will host their arch rivals from Bloemfontein, Grey College.
Stellenbosch Gymnasium, as it was then known, was founded in 1866. In 1946, the school was renamed after the famous Springbok captain and former pupil and later rector of the school, Paul Roos. Yeah, I think there's always lots of excitement, lots of passion, schoolboy pride, as mentioned, that it's a special game because that's the end of the season. But I think the two institutions share so much of passion for rugby, traditions and values. So that makes it a very, very special game for us. Over the last 10 games, Paul Roos has recorded five wins, three losses and two draws. They've notched wins against some formidable opponents, including Perlgem and Oakdale, going down to Garsfontein, Paul Boys and Rondebosch, and they drew with both Bishops and Wolland Landbo. We're going to approach it as any other match, but it's definitely uh, the pinnacle of, of the boys' career and, and of the season, so uh, always a very excited, exciting style of play. They always like to keep the ball alive, high-paced. Um, but that's their strengths. We have different strengths, and it's, it's just how you how you manage those strengths uh, at what points during a game, and, uh, and where you are at the team that's going to make the difference. Yeah, so playing in Makotter, Grey Bloom, uh, the biggest inter-schools game of the year. You've prepared for it. We've prepared for it well the whole year. Um, it's a four or five year journey coming to the end. It's going to be emotional, mixed emotions, but I think in the end we'll pull it together and the boys will stand behind our back and yeah, it's going to be good. It's a five year, year journey coming to an end, so there's going to be a lot of mixed emotions, passion, uh, the boys are going to be excited, it's going to be physical, end to end rugby, um, yeah, and it's, uh, it's, you want to end the year on a high um, and that's what we try and do, we try and make the school proud and play the best rugby we can. No, great, definitely is the top school to beat. I mean, every Paul Royce's dream, the coaches even say we work towards the last game of the year. So it will be a formidable game, it will be tough and it will be never ending. So until the last whistle goes, you'll play. Definitely grab my quarter, last the weight strides, all the bayam, the general weight strides, but it's all like a good weight strides. And all the spanners can go around and play a fish spiel. Over the last eight years, Greg College has won five times, with Paul Ruiz notching their last win in 2015, and no games taking place over the pandemic years. Paul Ruiz are a strong team this year, and they're playing at home, so we can expect a massive game between these two proud rugby schools. Greg College is the third oldest school in the country, and the oldest north of the Orange River. In 1904, the University of the Free State originated from the school, and the two campuses are next to one another in Bloemfontein. No, Paul Roos is very special to us because it's also a school with the same values as Gray College. Um, they also believe in the total education of the boy for the future of tomorrow. And it's always uh, good sportsmanship. On the field, it's very hard. Off the field, we big friends. And uh, that's what we're looking for, is to, to renew these friendships again. Over the last 10 games, Great College has won 9 and lost only to Paddle Gym. They've performed well against strong opposition, including Paul Boys, Afis and Monument. They will enter this fixture as the favourites, but on Makata, with the home crowd backing the opposition, anything can happen. Um, what a privilege to go down to Stellenbosch um, for the past four, three to four months. We've been training on very hard drive, drive fields in the Free State. So we are looking forward to get down there, play on a green pitch again. Um, and what a uh, wonderful opportunity to be able to end the season off against a highly rated side like Paul Ruiz. I think Paul Ruiz is one of the clash of the year, because it is, it is our last one as an emotional, emotional spell for, for the matrix that we have. So I think Dit is emotioneel maak, maak jy hard oop en as jy hard oop gaan, dan, dan, dan raak het een harde speel. So ek dink van al twee kante gaan het een groote wees. It's always a different game in Stellenbosch. I mean the weather conditions, the field and everything. Um, we beat them there last time, so I'm sure we can, we have a chance to do it again. I'm playing there in Paul Roos at Makotel. The conditions there are slightly different, so it's going to be a little bit of a struggle that first five to ten minutes. 
but I think we, we still go into pool two. I'm confident that we will. While opponents on the field, the close ties between the two schools have led to some great collaborations. One such project is the Calling Academy. In 2018, Calling Academy opened its doors to 60 boys from low-income backgrounds with a vision of providing top quality education to low-income learners from the Stellenbosch area. We were only four staff members with a lot of mud and dust around, but four years later the Stellenbosch campus has its first matrix and the buildings are complete. In 2022, a second calling academy also opened in Kronstadt in the Free State. These two schools together now have almost 350 learners and 26 staff members and counting. This was made possible by a unique vision of three old boys from Paul Ruiz and Greg College. The two schools are great rivals and it was amazing to see how this rivalry turned into a partnership that can have a significant impact in South African education. We wanted to start a school that offered a world-class education for low-income learners, similar to the head starts that we have received from Paul Ruiz and Greg College. I am Bilo Ruka. I come from Guguletu. I got the opportunity to join Calling Academy in grade 12 in 2020. In my area, very few children have present fathers, but in a way, Calling Academy has fathered me. That's why I call my fellow Calling learners my brothers, because I believe that Calling education will still create a turning point in the lives of many South African learners just like it did for me. We recently approached Paul Ruiz and Gray College with a proposal of making Calling Education the beneficiary of the annual Premier Inter-Schools Derby Day. The schools agreed that learners or supporters can pledge donations per try, per goal, or just a general donation to help Calling Education move forward. Our ideal is that the Paul Ruiz and Gray learners drive the donations so that generosity can also become part of their lives. Forest Gymnasium and Greg College are known for having produced great men for South Africa. We believe that this project is another step in that direction. Kickoff is this Saturday at the Makata Field in Stellenbosch. Get there early because a big crowd is expected at this historic encounter between two of South Africa's most respected rugby schools. It's Paul Roos versus Greg College in Premier Inter Schools live on Supersport.